am a big fan of ASMR, and I was introduced to it in part by journal videos where someone films themselves creating a journal page with all the tingly sounds of paper shuffling, washi tape tearing, and pen scratching. These sounds and visuals are so soothing to me because journaling is such a calming activity that I've been doing since I was a child. Thus, I've really embraced my love for journaling in the last two years and have collected so much fun ephemera to work with and experimented with lots of different styles. I even have my own monthly journal challenge with 10 unique and open-ended prompts I post on my blog and Instagram each month. So I am serious about journaling these days. But other than giving prompts to follow along with and sharing my finished journaling pages on Instagram at the end of each month, I don't usually show a lot involved in the process of making my pages. So that's why today I wanted to show you a little peek behind the curtain of how I create a page to hopefully give you some of the tingles or calm I experience when making them. The prompt I'm working on here is what lost childhood object would you most like to find? And what popped into my head was this smooth black stone crescent moon pendant I had as a kid and loved so much. So this crystal and celestial themed cardstock I got on clearance at Michael's recently matched the aesthetic I was imagining perfectly. Basically, my journaling process goes like this. I collect all the pieces that I like and kind of create a color palette. Then I cut them out and lay them on the journal page to see how everything fits together. Then comes glue, then stickers, washi tape, and any other decorations I might want to add. Last but not least, fill it in with the actual writing part of journaling. Part of what I love about journaling is that it's messy. Like, I'll probably never start filming my journaling on a regular basis. I rarely end up with a perfect social media worthy page. For me, journaling is much more about the process. It's deciding what papers and stickers and tape to use, where and how much space to leave for writing, how to fit all the elements on a page that I want, how to save a page when my cat attacks my hand while I'm using a ruler to draw a straight line and it goes awry. <laughs> so I think I'll leave the journal filming to someone else for the most part. Sometimes you need art that's just yours, you know? Thank you.